this video is going to be A to Z for scholars. How do you set up a scholars account? And how do you get them playing your Pegasi, okay? So this is literally going to be from scratch. You're going to create your MetaMask. This is what you're going to probably show your scholar. Create your MetaMask account. Yeah, so now you you have added it to Chrome. You're going to go your MetaMask. You're going to get started. Uh, create a wallet. Agree. New password. Doesn't matter. This is a dummy account. If anyone wants to hack this account. So basically, your scholar is going to do this. Your scholar is going to create a MetaMask account once it's created. Now go to your other MetaMask account. The one that you already created. So this is after you created your MetaMask account. You're going to go to this website. You're going to go to Polygon Wallet or connect a wallet to a wallet. Yep, click connect to a wallet. MetaMask, click next, click connect, click sign. So now you're going to go to your um, top right, your MetaMask, and then you're going to select Matic Network. So you already have a Matic Network already. Yes. Okay, so you're going to select, ask your scholar to select the Matic Network. You already have a bit of Matic. So the next thing you want to do for your scholar is that if they don't have a Matic, what well, you're going to ask them to send you the uh, their Matic address and then you're going to send them some Matic lah. You're going to paste and then you're going to send them some Matic. Give them maybe two Matic. Two Matic is more than enough. For me personally, two Matic is enough for over 200, 300 to 400 races. More than that. You can actually race at maybe a thousand races. Two Matic is enough. All you need to send is two Matic to your scholar. So once your scholar has received their two Matic, as you can see here, my, this scholar here has already uh, seven matic which is more than enough for all the transactions so once you have received your uh, scholars address what you're going to go is go to pegasi pegasi.io so what you're going to do is you're going to click rent out to race you're going to click direct public is if you want to post it on the public rentals where people can click rent and rent it from you but i definitely recommend you go direct this is if you want to give your scholar you're going to select an address which is their address you're going to set their cut. So Chris is a moderator for mine, so he's going to get 20%. Uh, it's based on your whole entire scholarship, how you want to set it. 10%, 15%, 20%, 25%, or 30%, okay? You're going to approve the Pega. You're going to click confirm. And then you're going to click direct rent. So transaction is complete. We have approved the Pega to be rented out. Next thing you want to go is direct rent and click confirm and wait for it to confirm and once it's confirmed the scholar can start racing with the horse huh? okay so now we're done we're we are renting it now i'm going to go back to discord so now crits my scholar has it already you're yeah. going to go racing and as you as you saw the matic fees are super low 0 0.0000025 so two it two matic is more than enough click start yeah click start and they can start racing the horse right yeah? it's, a, it's that simple it's that simple that's it very simple if you want to create scholarships that's how you create scholarships if you want to rent out to people that's how you're going to rent it out huh? okay once you have done renting out the ex the pegasi to your scholar when they race and if they earn anything from the race it's instantly debited into your account here instantly in this account as they are playing you instantly get your vis tokens here and you need to wait 14 days for you to claim. Everything is done automated for you. This is why I like Pegasi is they have the automated claiming system and everything.